I got my snakes in, I just want to do a feeding shot. So I have some fuzzies ready here. As you can see, let's grab one of them for the Aspidolabs Lupricus Coalesi. And let's see if anybody is interested. Of course, she is a cobra and she will be interested. Oh, here she comes. Yoohoo! She comes. Woohoo! Cobra! You got a lot of lapids. They strike super fast and they eat super fast. So, let's see how she's gonna do now. Let's get a little closer to her. Look at the big head scales. Classic Alapid feature. I love these guys because um, they get bigger than Lubricus Lubricus. And they may be a little hotter. They have caused uh, two fatalities. Unfortunately, two uh, young girls were killed in Africa in Namibia, I guess. But um, when they were sleeping, they rolled over two really, really big ones. And that's uh, how they died. Look at that scale on the tip of the nose. <laughs> Super cool. Uh oh. Oh yeah, um, the random composition is not very well known, but um, neurotoxic component is there of course. There's probably some cytotoxins, as most African uh, cobras and cobra-like species have quite tissue destructive power on their arsenal, like the red spitter for example. I got spat on once in the eye even though I was wearing my regular glasses it got through from the side that's why you should always wear your full side covered goggles when working with spitters and even though I washed it off right away that hurt like hell and those were the cytotoxins working destroying my cornea yeah that's not fun but yeah, these guys are easier. With spitters you always have to have goggles around. I don't like that very much. Um, she is in a temp container right now in uh, quarantine. By April or so I'm gonna get some real nice uh, cages and that's when I'm gonna put her into those into her permanent home with a better substrate than this. Uh, this is just quarantine. Let's have a larger look. You see? She's not that big. She's an 08. And I have a friend around here that has real nice males. 09 males. I'm gonna buy a male from him soon to pair this lady up. Maybe in a couple years or so we'll have babies. Yeah, these, um, this subspecies lives in Nam Namibia, a little hard to pronounce for me for some reason, in Africa, and they are less colorful than their uh, so-called cousins, uh, Lupercus Lupercus. They have more reddish color, but these ones get bigger, actually, 
which I like. Uh, we can see some freezer burn on that little unfortunate mouse. I got them from the show in Germany, the mice, and they were cheap. This guy had like a shack. He had all kind of frozen animals, geckos, um, chicks, mice, and I just had enough money for some mice, so I got some mice. Ah, oh, good job, good job. And the animal actually came from um, Alexander. I think he is either in Romania or uh, Hungary. I'm not exactly sure. He also has a mail that I didn't like too much, so I didn't buy it. And uh, this girl and that male are siblings, so I don't like to breed siblings, anyways. Here we go. All done. Good job. She just sculpts a fuzzy every three days. Does a wonderful job. See the mouse going inside. Yay! Good job, girly. Yeah, that nose scale is amazing. That's there for digging. See, it's enlarged. A little up front outside of the nose. It's really interesting. Well, here she goes. Good job. Well, um, I will probably have a Crotoloceraste's feeding video next week and then maybe a Vipraya Santina one. But um, this one was for this week and I hope you guys will enjoy. Bye.